Alright guys, I'm back with my review of the Ring of Honor TV show for June 8th, 2013. And the show starts off with the House of Truth coming out. And Truth throws out an open challenge, a proving ground match. So Pepper Parks comes out. And Truth says Pepper Parks is a disappointment. And Parks says he's going to take Truth's Willy Wonka hat and wheeze in the juice Polly Shore's hair. Um, I did pop for that line. So it's Parks versus Taven. Parks goes off the top for a clothesline or something. Misses. Taven hits the DDT move for the win. Um, it was okay. Nothing really to it. But I am a fan of Matt Taven and the whole House of Truth thing. And Taven's still not at that level right now. Um, they're still considering his win of the TV title a fluke. Like, how could that happen? So they really have to keep bringing in guys like Pepper Parks to do the job to Taven to build him up. Um, so I thought that was good. Rip Impact versus Tomasa Ciampa. The lights start flickering again. I guess this is Ciampa's entrance now. It's going to flicker every time he comes out for a match. Um, Ciampa holds Rip up in a vertical suplex. The fans start counting. Um, this is something Michael Elgin does, so it was Ciampa's way of getting Elgin's attention. Elgin comes out and gets on the apron, but he doesn't get involved. Ciampa hits white noise from the second rope for the win. Elgin says Ciampa picked the wrong guy to have his return match on pay-per-view with. And he will see him at best in the world. Then they do some backstage promos. Elgin tells Ciampa he's happy he gets to face him. And he understands what Ciampa was thinking. He was sitting on the sidelines. And when he came back, he wanted to face the biggest dog in the yard. But he hasn't been paying attention to what Elgin's been doing lately. Taking out guys like Kevin Steen and Davey Richards. Um... It's not the greatest storyline, but at least they're trying to do something for this match. There's really no reason Ciampa would want to face Michael Elgin. Uh, so at least they're trying to give you a reason why this match is happening. Now this match, Adam Cole says losing the TV title changed something in him. And he realized in Ring of Honor all that matters are wins and losses. And he will beat Roderick Strong at best in the world. Now this match has no reason for existing. Um, if it was a TV match, fine. But for a pay-per-view, there's really no story to this. It's just a match to have Cole and Roderick Strong have something to do with the pay-per-view. So it's kind of just, like I said in my video last week, they really need to improve these storylines, especially for pay-per-view matches. And I'm sure the matches are going to be fantastic, but why would I be interested in this? Um, Kevin Steen says he remembers watching Hardy jump off of ladders through tables. Uh, but it's nothing compared to what he's going to do to him at Best in the World. I'm kind of surprised that Kevin Steen is already going straight for Matt Hardy. Um, they were supposed to do this thing where for the next couple months, Steen was going to take out every member of SCUM, and I figured Hardy would be the last guy, uh, but they're jumping straight into Kevin Steen versus Hardy, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. Carino comes out and says Nigel didn't give SCUM a chance to get a TV title shot or a tag title shot. Um, Lethal and CNC come out. Carino tells CNC they lost clean to Titus and Compton. Lethal lost to Jacobs. And all he has to do is snap his fingers, and these guys don't make it to best in the world. So he snaps his fingers, all hell breaks loose, they all start fighting. Nigel and Carino just have a stare down in the middle of all this chaos, which I thought was really cool. Um, but one thing that was kind of disappointing is I was hoping to see the other scum members come out and get into this brawl, uh, but they didn't. It was just Compton, Titus, and Jacobs, and I know Jimmy Rave had a seizure. I hope he's doing okay. I mean, you haven't haven't really got to see him very much. Uh, Rhino's another guy who's kind of only with scum on the pay-per-views, um, but I would like to see the, the rest of the group a little bit more. It feels like it's always the same guys. It's always Compton, Titus, and Jacobs out there. Uh, it doesn't really feel like this huge group because you never really see these other guys. Um, so then we get the main event, which is the American Wolves versus the Briscoes. Uh, David Richards gets Jay in an armbar. Mark goes off the top of the froggy bow onto Richards, which was a cool spot. Um, Mark accidentally hits Jay. This was very predictable, but it was fine. Mark accidentally hits Jay. And the Wolves hit the kick to the head, tombstone pile driver combo for the win. So the Briscoes lost the match. and. Um, they can't, I guess maybe they're, because they have this match, they can't get on the same page, so. I knew as soon as they were doing American Wolves versus Briscoes, I think we all knew. Something's going to happen, someone's going to accidentally get hit, and it's going to cost the Briscoes the match. I mean, that's, it only makes sense. 
but as far as the show goes this week, I would have to say it was average. Um, Ciampa was really just a squash match. The scum stuff was good. The main event tag match was great. And the Proving Ground match was okay. So I have to kind of say that uh, just an average show this week. And um, hopefully they can do something with some storylines to build up the pay-per-view. Um, I still feel like the Briscoe storyline is um, it's lacking. And you have Elgin versus Ciampa. Kevin Steen is going straight for Matt Hardy. I don't know. I think this pay-per-view could have been booked a little bit better. But we'll see. They still have a few weeks to build this one up. But anyways, that's my review of this week's TV show. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on the show in the comments. And thanks for watching.